Greetings Virgo, welcome to your horoscope. Okay, so for you, you've had this sort of martial, motivated feeling about you. You really got a backbone over the last, you know, seven or eight weeks, you know, since um, Mars has been close to your ascendant. There's been this new Virgo. It's like, hey, we're not messing around here. We got to get stuff done. We got to make it happen. <clears throat> Can't waste time. Boy, I, I'll tell you, I, I had to use that. I had to use that energy of um, Mars and Virgo to help me. Now, Sagittarius time is a time that's a little more introspective for folks who are influenced by Virgo. It's, um, it's a time of reflection. It's a time of um, dealing with family matters, your own personal tribe, and looking at the people around you and seeing who you're really comfortable with. Because those people are kind of like family to you. So, in spite of your um, sometimes persnickety, critical nature, you have a love for this outlandish, foolish Sagittarian for some reason. It feels like home. <laughs> so, I, I would say learn to digest that a little bit. And um, have yourself some kind of spiritual reflections. Let's look on the positive side. We've got this Pluto and, and Venus transiting your fifth house. And so there's just a lot of um, reason to be more creative and to transform your view of creativity, transform your view of your children and their children and their children's children if you're that far along the wheel. And um, what you like to do as far as art and creative work. Right now, there's some extra energy for that as well. And um, you have good friends. I think building a really positive social network is the real key thing for Virgo to do this year and um, you know Sagittarians are really good with that so maybe someone you feel comfortable with can help you um, network with the kind of people you want to network with how's that 